everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I have for you a Tesco food haul it's just been delivered so I thought I would just pop it on it's only a small one because of my mammoth Audi shop last week I will be popping a Slimming World update on I'm gonna try and film it tomorrow night when I've got two minutes because it's proving a little bit impossible to get any videos up in the last few days obviously we've had a couple of family issues with bereavements and things and now that's gone straight into half term and i don't really feel happy just to abandon the kids and keep making videos and things so this week's definitely going to be a bit slower but i will hopefully get a video filmed tomorrow night once the little kiddos are in bed and my husband's gone out so i'm not abandoning him either yeah i will do that i'm also hopefully going to pop on monthly favorites video because we've had a few bits and pieces arrive ready for Christmas and yeah just got a few bits and pieces haven't done a monthly favorites for a while but like I said in the last video if anyone's got any suggestions of any videos they'd like to see if you just pop it in the comments down below a couple of people have requested recipe videos or like food videos which I've taken on board they take a little while to sort out because obviously you have to plan the food and have the time to film it and everything so that's definitely something I've got in the pipeline but yeah if there's anything else you'd like then let me know to start with we have our usual full pot of semi skimmed and four pint of whole milk we've got a pack of ski yogurts for my husband a pack of petty falloos for the children and then I've got some Philadelphia light because I love that with bagels and sometimes some smoked salmon if we've got it in got one of those that was on offer a coronation chicken for my husband's sandwiches a sour cream because I'm gonna do some fajitas this week with some chicken we've got in the freezer a small pack of bananas and then ten big eggs a pack of wedges which we always have in the freezer just to put with like a quick meal that we might have once or twice a week and that's for those ones a pack of these cocktail sausages because we much prefer these to the pre-cooked ones we just that's just our preference and actually if you're really really struggling for a quick idea for the kids then frying off some of these with some mash veg and gravy it takes like minutes and a sort of fairly healthy-ish meal two of these garlic chicken kievs because they are just i think they're something like 80 90 p yeah just a really good deal i think for a quick dinner a pack of maris piper potatoes over the back here two bleaches a dove conditioner this carpet stain remover which i honestly cannot recommend enough it is absolutely unbelievable what we are getting out of our carpets the other day we had a can of coke on it we've had chocolate we've had sick <laughs> sorry but you know got two young kids and absolutely everything that has gone on our carpet has come out with this it's really really great i recommend it to every family member and any friends that have got young kids and they are all loving it as well a pack of tuna chunks because they were on offer i think they were like three pounds or something a Cornish pasty for my husband's lunch, just because he sometimes gets bored taking sandwiches. Unsmoked bacon, we always have that in as well in case we want bacon sandwiches at the weekend, just grill them or um, sometimes we do like a grilled healthy breakfast in the week as one of our dinners, so we always have those in. This is the classic vegetable base mix, which I think I've shown before, and we use that as a base for our cottage pie and any slow cooker recipes really, anything with mints or lamb. Uh, yeah, it's just a really good base and very easy. Some sweet corn cobbets because we are having some burgers which we had in the freezer which I still haven't used up. I'm just going to have one of them and sin it but we're going to have a cobbet and some salad with that tonight. And then a broccoli, some... Yeah, I'm not impressed with those at all actually. Some sweet easy peelers, but that one feels really, really baggy already. So the butternut squash and sweet potato packs. These were three for two with the diced swede that we got over there. Um, this one is just to make some butternut squash and sweet potato soup because it is so easy with the soup maker that we've got. It literally takes 21 minutes. You just stick everything in. I will show you on a video actually because I absolutely am loving soup at the moment. Also a bit of bread which isn't so good but that is absolutely brilliant. It takes no time at all and like I said I've got the diced swede because when we're having a roast dinner at the weekend we're sort of missing the fact that we don't really have swede very often and we're coming into the season like winter roast dinners so that just makes life a bit easier one of these garlic baguettes again we always have those in just with a pasta dish two of the fragrance free wipes and then over the back here the apple juice cartons for my son we've got some diet coke cans this time we're having a halloween party at the weekend and not everyone wants caffeine free so we just got those ones and then chopped tomatoes and ratatouille which i almost always get four tins of the baked beans 
And then over here, some bunny bites because they're just like a cheap version of pom bears and some onion rings. I will explain this corner in a minute, but yeah, onion rings. Two of the Walker's baked crisps. Over the back there, we have got a, a nine pack of toilet roll. And then <laughs> this little corner here, there always seems to be a reason for having this little corner. We're actually on half term here. And as I've mentioned before, my son is Toy Story 4 mad. And we had a cinema night the other night. He absolutely loved it. So we've promised that we can do it again with Nanny and Granddad. So they're coming around on Friday night for a Toy Story 4 cinema night. And as it's a super special occasion, like we've never really done that with Nanny and Granddad, we've got some bits. So we've got some butter kissed cinema sweet popcorn because you know you have to have popcorn when you watch a film. Uh, some Freddos, which actually we just keep in the cupboard for me anyway. Is it five, five and a half cents for one? So, and then a pack of the Dairy Milk Little Bars. And I got two of the Milk Chocolate Raisins, one just to keep in the cupboard and one to get out on Friday because my dad loves those. And then these are actually for Halloween for the Trick or Treaters on Thursday, some mini Smarties, some Super Sour Sweets because my husband loves those and some Terry's Chocolate Orange Minis because they were on offer, everyone likes those. So like I say, we're not gonna use all of it, some of it's Halloween, but we'll definitely get the popcorn, the raisins and the orange minis and the onion rings out. So just so we've got some snacks for Friday. Custard creams as we always get. And then I've got some Jaffa Cakes because I'm finding that they're just easy to take out for the kids when we go out for days. They can just have one or two when we're out and about. Um, yeah, and they're easy to eat and don't take much room up. And that is all. So as I predicted last week, because of my gigantic Audi haul, this shop is actually fairly small. It really was just a kind of top-up shop and it came to £54. So it wasn't too much really, considering I've got a couple of cleaning bits and just enough to keep us going. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be absolutely amazing. I'm over on Instagram, mama underscore hedgehog2, and also on the lovely channel mum with the name mama hedgehog. See you soon. Bye.